yes students second uh, uh, video for today that is space lattice <coughs> or crystal lattice space lattice is also called crystal lattice and unit cell right here we have to understand these two terms crystal lattice see crystal lattice is defined as regular arrangement of the constituent particle of a crystal in three dimensional space means any solid is made up of number of constituent particles and how these constituent particles are arranged will decide the type of crystal lattice then regular arrangement of what constituent particles by which that solid is made up of of a crystal in three dimensional space means all the solids are having three dimensions okay and second term is their unit cell which is also new for you bacha unit cell unit cell that smallest smallest three dimensional portion of a complete space lattice which repeats again and again and form lattice what does it mean just you suppose one match box one match box is there it is having length breadth and height is considered as one unit cell and when the number of such match boxes are arranged it will uh, it will uh, just form a big stack like wall also we can say the wall is because made up of number of unit cells then unit cells is the single unit and repeatedly when single unit arranged together they form crystal lattice right matlab simply one brick is a unit cell one brick is a unit cell and a wall a home which is made up of a stack of brick that is considered as crystal lattice and you must keep in mind that it is three dimensional structure right now i want bacha just you concentrate and imagine also imagine ki kya all unit cells are same no all unit cells are not same unit cells will be different then only it will be possible then different type with the different properties solids will be there here i have just tried with this figure first we will classify that unit cell which is the smallest uh, unit of a crystal lattice which repeats again and again and form crystal lattice then what are the type of these unit cells here two type of unit cells sorry these type of unit cells are there one is primitive unit cell just see the picture primitive unit cell or it is also called simple unit cell i have drawn here one cube all of you can draw right and just consider that each corner because one cube have eight corners then in all the eight corners there are constituent particles and as as point i have located here you don't consider that because all the atoms and molecules and any ions are spherical that's why i have drawn here dot but they are enough larger means all the corners are just located the center of that sphere atoms ions or molecules please try to understand and pay attention then here three type of non primitive or centered unit cell three types are there one is face centered see bachcha in face centered what is going on face centered only you consider cube is there eight corners i have ex i have just used black pen to locate all those eight particles at the eight corners now you all are knowing one cube is having how many faces six faces then each face each face have one particle over there so you can understand that six particles uh, sorry six faces are having six particles at their center or just i have tried to show it with the help of red pen 
just you consider your room only just see how many walls are there including roof and floor four walls roof and floor six and at the each and every center of the wall and roof there is one particle that is considered as face centered i think it is clear to you all right body centered body centered same consider see your room only where you are sitting now <laughs> you are locked even there now huh. so uh, how many corners are there eight eight corners are having eight particles and one particles one point red point is there which is present over there it is not touching any wall it is just just in between the center of your room means you have to keep in mind the red point which i am indicating here it is not touching any of the corner any of the face of that cube that's why it is considered as body centered because particle is in between at the center of that cube okay now third one is end centered see end centered same same theory it particles at the eight corners now what about new we have to see that see only at the roof or at the floor i have drawn two points iska matlab hai any of the two opposite face any of the two opposite face means jidhar bhi aapka face hai wall ki taraf agar ek samne ki taraf hai to dusra back side hoga right एक अगर राइट हैंड साइड वाली वॉल पर है तो दूसरा लेफ्ट हैंड वाली वॉल पर होगा तो दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव जस्ट चोस हियर रूफ एंड फ्लोर राइट एट द टॉप एंड एट द बॉटम राइट टू पार्टिकल्स आर देयर इट इज कंसीडर्ड एज एंड सेंटर्ड यूनिट सेल राइट इन दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन वन मोर टर्म्स आई हैव इंक्लूडेड दैट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर तो बच्चा हियर यू आर गेटिंग दैट नंबर ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट पार्टिकल्स अरेंज तो इन दिस अरेंजमेंट इट विल बी पॉसिबल देयर कि कोई एक पार्टिकल इज सराउंडेड बाय द नंबर ऑफ अदर पार्टिकल्स तो दैट इज डिफाइंड एज कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर मींस एक पार्टिकल को अगर कोई फोर पार्टिकल या सिक्स पार्टिकल सराउंड करता है लुक एट one particle is there it is surrounded by six other particles in this way to bacha are you getting this is the particle jiska coordination number we have to find out just check this particle is surrounded by how many other particle 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then what will be the coordination number of this particle that will be 6 right in this way you have to try to understand one more example i am giving 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 c one of the particle one of the particle its wall is touched by 1 2 3 and 4 these particle ek do teen aur char right then what will be the coordination number for this particle will be 4 right thank you